Hey guys, Dave the MMP back on Yola. I'm gonna do a little more work on the DC charging system. I've got uh, MPVT charging from Victron. I've got a DC to DC Orion charger. And what I'm starting to get worried about is I've got lithium batteries on the boat and they're different manufacturers and some of them have cold charging protection, some don't. Uh, so I picked up this little module. It's a, uh, a smart battery monitor and it monitors the temperature and the voltage of the battery. And it's such a tiny little module, it's got a little piece of uh, double-sided tape on the back of it. You tape it right to the side of the case of the battery and it will sense with these little wires here the exact voltage of the battery. So you're not sensing way back at the MPPT where you're charging the batteries, you're actually sensing what's at the battery. So you're not seeing the losses through all the cables, the switches and all that kind of stuff. And it links via Bluetooth to the MPP charger so that it can read it and see what the actual temperature and voltage is at the battery. So the great thing about that is even if all my batteries don't have low temperature charge protection, it's gonna stop charging at whatever temperature I set it at. So there's a dashboard for the MPPT charger and I can set it at five degrees, I can set it at 10 degrees, I can set it at zero, whatever I want to stop charging at. So when those temperatures go low, it'll stop charging. If the temperature rises during the day and there's sunlight on my solar panels, it's gonna start charging the battery. So I think that's a really good idea. Let's uh, see how the install goes. All right, in the cabin sole, uh, I've got this little hatch here. Take this guy out. And I've got two 31 series batteries and they're both lithium. And they're different brands. One's a, uh, uh, I can't remember, Powerhouse. And I don't know what the other one is, Valencia or something like that. So I've got them commoned up together. And uh, this is down in the bilge. So what I'm gonna do is uh, mount the, uh, the temperature, Victron temperature sensor, uh, smart battery sense onto this one battery. And uh, then it can do the Bluetooth up to my uh, MPPT charger and see what happens. Okay, battery sense is connected. Stuck it on down the side of the battery there so it can sense the temperature of the battery. It's flashing blue light so I know it's communicating with the Bluetooth. And now it's talking to the MPPT charger so I don't overcharge my batteries when they're cold. All right, next thing I want to do is get rid of these wires that are free hanging. Now that I've got the uh, wireway set up and the covers on it, uh, the Orion to DC-DC charger's got its wires that go down into there and they come up into the firewall up here behind this cover. And they go into the engine room where the power is. So those free hanging wires are going to my solar panel out in the cockpit and I'm gonna disconnect those Resplice them and run new ones inside the wire. All right, so there's the finished wireway with all the wires connected and hidden away. I've got a spare MPPT charger here. Probably going to put a separate panel on it just in case the uh, sun. If you common up panels on the same controller, then if one panel is shaded, they both kind of die down. So every single panel on this boat is going to have its own charger. Okay. So it's getting cold in the Pacific Northwest and time to winterize the diesel. This here is the seawater that comes into my seawater pump here, it goes up to the water pump and circulates through the heat exchanger. And then it goes through the water muffler and outside. What I normally do is take this hose off and I don't let any seawater come into the engine. I put this little extra hose that I have on and I put it into a bucket of RV antifreeze, which is, uh, uh, environmentally safe antifreeze and as um, soon as I see it coming out the muffler then I shut it off and stop running the diesel for the rest of the season. Hey guys that's it for me thanks for watching to the end give me a like if you like the videos and subscribe and I'll see you next week.